The weather is a bit rubbish today and it's not going to be a good day but today is one of my best days because I've got yes British weather but British goodness ladies and gentlemen a very warm welcome to Bentley Continental GT convertible look at this car the keyword proportions let's be honest the predecessor was a bit of a fatty it was like a lord sitting behind the desk not wanting to move this one is a little bit like a lean athletic polo player ready to rock and roll this car is so noble it is so beautiful let's hop in because something tells me the beauty continues on let's do this under the bonnet we've got a glorious six liter W12 twin turbocharged petrol engine and it sounds very gentle very subtle as if the engine was not under the bonnet but somewhere far away but the moment you brush on the accelerator the sound really deepens and the moment you simply put your foot down in this car you feel the front rises and oh boy a wild kitten really does come out because this car is so powerful sort of it is not the obvious kind of power it's very sort of sophisticated it's <laughs> what can I say it's yeah I can't actually say it because it's this good the way this car handles the road it's it's a dream it's a dream it's just something that is I have never experienced before actually because of course the handling is it is what you expect from a Bentley it is done with such grace and such elegance and this is my kind of handling it's 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 just so good <laughs> so this glorious engine pumps 635 horsepower that's right 900 newton meters of torque that is achieved at just 1350 rpms you can fly to the moon with this car 0 to 100 is only 3.8 seconds and the top speed of 333 kilometers an hour is achieved in last but one seventh gear you see most cars on this road will be flying not in a good way flying uh, they will be dancing whilst this one just keeps it together and again it keeps it together in such sophisticated and beautiful way and what about the cabin what well, the goodness just continues classic elegant it doesn't actually intimidate you but it does take your breath away every single millimeter has its place has its purpose the quality of the materials they're finishing i can go on and on it's just absolutely stunning the center console the finish is done by Cote de Genève yes the very same one that is used in mechanical wristwatches we've got a large digital display don't fancy well don't worry with the press of a single button you can turn back the time real bright link <laughs> This is a beauty, isn't it? In the cabin, the quality of the materials is just breathtaking. Metal is metal, wood is wood, leather is leather. In fact, in a top spec of a cabin, Moulinier, we've got exactly 310,675 stitches. Not over 300,000, not about 300,010, but precisely exactly 310,675 stitches. That is pretty impressive, isn't it? The leather in the sky it is so soft, so glorious. Actually, it has been selected from cows from Northern Europe, which apparently are happier 
or happy cows, happy us, because they are less vulnerable to insects. But you see, I can go on and on about the quality, the style, the finish in, of the cabin. But I would recommend, do yourself a favor, one day, if you have a chance, go into a Bentley dealership, hop in one of these cars and you'll feel all the glory. It is such a perfect blend of luxury, class, history, but also modern world. This is not just best of both worlds, this is best of all worlds, because this cabin is just absolutely heavenly. Some nights I'm having a hard time keeping my head above the water so the Continental GT was always quick and stable as hell. But here, with this generation, it's a different world. Because you see, even in Porsche 911, when the pointer reaches about 300 kilometers an hour, your hands start to sweat. And things sometimes get uncomfortable. Whilst here, when the pointer reaches 300 kilometers an hour, you can just sit back and chit chat with your passenger as if you're having a cup of tea, which really makes it the best, the greatest Gran Turismo in the world. I mean, look at me on this road. It is just, I know this road very well. And I know how uncomfortable a lot of cars with lots of horsepower feel. Yeah, things get out of hand very quickly. But with this one, yeah, life is good. Life is glorious simply okay let's be practical for a second and talk about fuel economy which a lot of people complain about on the internet it's expensive it's too much all this car uses is 15 liters that's right and that is considering my heavy right foot and quite frankly when you're purchasing a car that's worth about 300,000 US dollars do you really care about your fuel economy no, of course not. What you do care, however, is your range. And that is fantastic in this car because it is about 720 kilometers, give or take 450 miles. So you see, you don't have to visit petrol stations, smelly petrol stations, and hang around people like myself, poor peasants. Oh no, you are in a Bentley after all. In terms of driving dynamics, everything here is happening seamlessly and smoothly. There is neither brutality nor fury. After all, it would not be appropriate for this car to roar like an American muscle car with a V8 engine or the high explosion of sounds that is present in a Lambo or a Ferrari. No, this car is noble. This car is discreet. After all, you don't have to raise your voice if you're a confident individual to make your point, do you? Not at all. But don't wait for too long. Just hold so in the comfort mode, the air suspension here is soft. It absorbs all of the bumps and imperfections. The steering is fairly light, but it is still precise. The throttle response is less intense, but it is still there. Now in this mode, long distance cruising is beautiful. I've spent five hours in this car on a journey and you just don't feel anything other than glory. Now there's also a special mode, Bentley mode. This is a beautiful blend between sportiness and comfort. You get some more weight to the steering and of course the throttle response becomes a lot more fun. The suspension is still fairly soft to absorb the bumps and imperfections but you see best for Bentley for me best is the sport mode. Now you then feel really the weight to your steering and the sound. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is a different kind of roar. Oh, it's so beautiful. And this car becomes agile like a cat. So sharp, so incredibly fast and responsive. You just cannot stop and I can't help myself because it is like an ecstasy, I swear to God. It's just a thunder under the bonnet. And again, so much class, so much elegance. Probably a little bit more than I carry now when I get simply carried away on the throat. Because I can't help myself. This car is just in a sport mode. It's an animal. It's a one sexy beast, basically. Here, 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 here.
and the brakes will definitely surprise you because they're extremely effective and they've got a lot to handle 2400 kilograms to be precise plus your luggage if you carry any of course plus the driver or passengers in it and depending on how many biscuits you've had with your tea well there might be a lot to handle we are pampered by a solid four-wheel drive system but it generally feels rear driven and of course that's what makes it so much fun and that's what makes this car in a sport mode a bit of a monster actually but you still have the safety and the confidence to simply get carried away I must admit when I first picked up this car I thought the most fun I suppose fun is not the right word the most seductive environment for this car is a motorway with gentle and soft curves hmm but today I thought well Bentley let's see what you made of I quite frankly this car has proven that it can be so much fun in a difficult wet curvy very narrow environment because it actually loves curves and you see its capacities what makes this car very magical it's the magic of a Gran Turismo that you can have this car as a beautiful chilled long distance cruiser but when you decide to let it all out and there is a lot to let out it will not disappoint you because this car is so confident so stable the grip wow yeah, that is the magic of a GT so it really is this every breath you take every move you make everything here happens with so much grace so much elegance but also so much strength from the moment you look at this car you simply fall in love because it is sensationally beautiful then you turn on the engine and boy your heart starts to tick and then you drive this car and it is just heavenly honestly I can't get enough of this I am absolutely in love with this car who would have known a Brit can make your heart beat so fast but there you go it is just so much sophistication so much lushness in this car I can't simply get enough of this and it's time to wrap things up really because I am going to be selfish I'm going to be driving this car a little bit more I'd like to thank you very much for watching a big thank you to Olivier from Andre Cheval I put the link to the dealership under my video so you can take a look we've got some pretty amazing cars I look forward to your comments and questions I wish you a beautiful day whatever that you're doing and I shall see you all very very soon bye so nice.